All right, guys, Rafael Rabelo here, fourth degree black belt from American Top Team Deerfield. Today, I'm going to show you how to escape from back mount. Independently of your partner's reaction, you're going to get on top of it or you're going to get sweeping on the dip cap. All right? So, Jesse, you're going to have my back here with both hooks in. You're going to be choking with the right hand on the collar. Basic choke, you want to open that collar and choke me this way. So first thing I do is using my both hands to stop the choke so I can breathe, okay? I have a hand across on the sleeve, pulling this way, right hand bringing down so I can tuck my chin, my chin in. Then my right hand go all the way back there. I'm gonna grab whoever I can on that, on that shoulder. Grab the fabric on the shoulder, maybe grab the collar on the shoulder, okay? Then I'm gonna lock my elbow forward here, all right? My nose and my elbow need to be in line. Even I try to open the elbow, try to open to choke me, it can't, it doesn't have leverage. So now I can release this, okay? My left hand can release this, this lever I'm gonna use to kill the hook, all right? In, in the same time I kill the hook, I'm gonna be leaning to the side it has the other hook, placing nape of my neck on the floor. So I go here, start killing the hook, turn my body, boom. Soon as it, my, my, my spine hit his, his knee, is the moment where you're gonna try to swing the leg open to mount me. I need to avoid that. How do I avoid that? Using my right hook. Jesse, try to mount me there. He doesn't have the angle. So the only thing he can do here is try to get on top, try to get on top. As he's getting on top, I need to use my right hand, the one on the elbow, through the legs. I'm gonna grab his hamstring here. Now I'm gonna whip my leg. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna do dip it up, come into the back door and work on his back. Okay, one more time. So, both hands on the sleeve, okay? Defend the sleeve here. What I'm gonna do, right hand, hand on the same, top, set, same side, grab the shoulder, lock your elbow. All right, you can't choke him anymore. Lean toward the side he has the under, under, underneath hook. Boom, put the nape of her neck on the floor. See, sometimes I don't even need to use the hand to kill the hook. So as I turn, keep the hook back. So as I turn my body, I already kill the hook. I'm on top of his knees. My spine is on top of his knee, all right? Hook the leg so he doesn't get on top of me. Keep sliding out. Here, then your elbow go to the floor. You get on top of him. Okay, one more time. Both hands on the sleeves, choking you, the top, over the shoulder. Go back, grab the sh right shoulder, grab some fabric, the collar, whatever you want, lock your elbow, okay? Lean to the side, have the underhook, bum, bum, bum. Nape of a neck on the floor. You save from the choke, okay? Hook, so he doesn't mount. If you don't hook the leg, you're gonna circle the leg over, gonna mount you. So hook. Soon as you start getting on top of it, you shoot the right hand, look, and keep spinning your leg. Then your knees go to the floor, you have the deep half back torso width. Then I can explore his back here, I can work some jumping wherever I want after. All right? So at the same time I escape from the back, I can get on top basically, or get to the middle of his leg, back torso width. Thank you.